First Dallas traffic order. time, 21 minutes past the hour. Now, Sirius XM First Traffic for Chicago. Let's take a look at our Chicago area roadways. Starting on the inbound side of the Edens, where it's a 16-minute trip from Lake Cook to Montrose, 14 minutes back out from Montrose out to Lake Cook. On the Kennedy, 17 minutes in from O'Hare, 8 coming in from Montrose, your outbound side. It's an 8-minute trip out to Montrose and a 19-minute trip out to the airport. On the Eisenhower, 24 minutes in from 390, 13 coming in from Wolf, your outbound side. It's a 13-minute trip out to Wolf Road and a 24-minute trip out to Route 390. On the Stevenson, on the inbound side, you can expect 22 minutes to get from 355 into the downtown area, 15 if you're coming in from the Tri-State. Your outbound side, it's a 15-minute drive out to the Tri-State and a 21-minute drive out to 355. On the Dan Ryan, 11 minutes inbound, 95th into the Jane Byrne Interchange. Your outbound side is identical. 11 minutes to get from the downtown area back out to 95th. On I-57, 11 minutes inbound, I-80 into the Ryan. In the reverse, it's 12 minutes to get from the Dan Ryan back out to I-80. And last but not least, the Bishop Ford, where it's 10 minutes inbound, 80-94 into the Dan Ryan. Your outbound travel time, 11 minutes to get from the Dan Ryan back out to 80-94. No major issues on the Saba Lake Shore Drive or any of your toll. Ways. It's currently 40 degrees and partly cloudy. Here's a look at our forecast. Still some snowpack on the ground north of Wisconsin state line, but uh, it's all warmed up here in Chicago. We're in the 50s to kick off the new month of March tomorrow. I'm meteorologist Scott Larry Moore at the Weather Channel. High pressure moving overhead and uh, some high clouds start to stream in from the west, announcing the arrival of our next weather system late this week into Thursday and Friday. I think it does bring us some colder numbers again for the upcoming weekend and some brief accumulating snowfall here to Chicago Friday night. But a warm start to March with temperatures above average for tomorrow. Good 10 degrees warmer than average. We're in the mid-30s at the lakeshore tonight. Might see some clouds cruise in, some sprinkles. Partly cloudy Wednesday, 53. Cloudy and cooler Thursday, high 37, low 33. Then one inch snows on Friday afternoon and Friday evening, high 36, low 29. Temperatures will be cooler into the weekend with upper 20s for low temps, 30s and 40s for daytime high temps. Whatever winter sends your way, be as ready as we are. No other TV news network is trusted more than the Weather Channel. Watch the Weather Channel all winter long. Next Sirius XM Chicago traffic and weather, less than four minutes from right now. Hello, everybody. J.J. Walker, the nighttime DJ on duty on Sirius XM 70s on 7. With all your 70s hits and pop culture, Channel 7 in your car and on the SXM app, 6 p.m. to midnight Eastern time, 3 to 9 p.m. Pacific. Sirius XM first traffic comes from America's premier traffic provider, Our Weather, from the Weather Channel. First traffic time, 24 minutes past the end. Now. Sirius XM First Traffic for Detroit. I-696 westbound between Van Dyke and 11 Mile. Only the right lane open for construction until 5 a.m. I-75 northbound between 7 Mile and 8 Mile. Left lane closed for construction scheduled through August 7th. I-75 northbound between I-696 and 14 Mile. Road construction down to two lanes scheduled through late August. I-94 eastbound between New Haven Road and 26 Mile, left lane closed for construction, only the right lane open through early May. I-75 southbound between 14 Mile and I-696, broke construction down to two lanes scheduled through late August. I-75 southbound between 8 Mile and 7 Mile, left lane closed for construction, scheduled through August 7th. I-696 westbound between M10 and I-96, I-275 and M5, roadway down to two lanes, right two lanes are open through mid-October. Hines Drive both ways between Ann Arbor Trail and Otter Drive, closed due to flooding use an alternate route. And looking to at 10 Mile Road between Meadowbrook Road and Haggerty, closed for construction through April 17th. 23 Mile Road between Romeo Plank and Heidenreich, intermittent lane closures for construction until mid-November. Cass Avenue southbound between Antoinette and West Palmer Avenue closed through late October. Brush Street northbound between Monroe Street and Gratiot closed for construction through March 2023. Waterman Street closed both ways between Fort Street and I-75. Right now, Detroit, 39 degrees. Now, here's your latest weather forecast. 
Snow's melting to our north and uh, bringing some high clouds in tonight. We make 50 degrees for the March 1st forecast tomorrow. Temperatures good 10, 12 degrees warmer than average tomorrow. Colder numbers do return for Friday with several inches of snow late week. I'm meteorologist Scott Laurie Moore checking out your Detroit forecast from the Weather Channel. Mid 30s for low temps downtown tonight. Some light rain showers Wednesday for March 1st. And 50 degrees tomorrow, winds uh, out of the southeast tomorrow and uh, kind of a mild field of the forecast here midweek. Mostly cloudy Thursday, 42, and our next storm system passes just to our south on Friday with rain, snow, and wind on Friday. Northeast winds, two-inch snows by uh, Friday morning. Highs Friday around 37, low Friday night, 32. Then briefly colder for the top of the weekend, warming back up into the 40s uh, for Sunday and Monday. Whatever winter sends your way, be as ready as we are. No other TV news network is trusted more than the Weather Channel. Watch the Weather Channel all winter long. Hey, I'm Doug Hanna. Life can get you down, especially in traffic, but the music that's over on The Message can lift up your spirits. It's faith, hope, and music from people like Lauren Daigle to Mercy Me and a bunch more. Please listen in. I'm on weekdays 6 till noon Eastern on The Message, Channel 63. Get all your traffic and weather right here. Sirius XM. First traffic and weather. Hey, it's Ray Sharkey, and I host Freight Waves Drive Time weekdays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And are you wondering what's powering inflation? Well, we take you to the roots of our economy, the transportation and supply chain sector, to answer those questions. Guests including trucking company owners, freight tech entrepreneurs, and world economists join me to educate you on the industry bringing your favorite goods to your doorstep. Join our conversations on the Road Dog Trucking Channel, Channel 146. Sirius XM brings you more new comedy. Comedy Central Radio. Laugh USA. Raw Dog Comedy. More exclusive comedy. Netflix is a joke. Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud. I'm telling you, people, I'm even funnier on the radio. More classic comedy. Comedy greats. More down-home comedy. Jeff and Larry's Comedy Roundup. Get it in. And more stuff you can't hear anywhere else. Sirius XM Comedy, channels 93 to 99 and online. Sirius XM. First traffic time, 28 minutes past the hour. Now, Sirius XM First Traffic for Dallas-Fort Worth. Good evening. As you travel through Arlington, 360 southbound, shut down. You'll have to take the Brown Boulevard exit. Then in Arlington on 20 eastbound, watch for an accident at 360, blocking your right interchange ramp. In Fort Worth, you have road work up 35 southbound from Westport to 170, the left lane blocked. Northbound from Keller Hicks to Alliance Boulevard, the left lane taken away. North of 820 eastbound at Old Decatur, they push everybody over into just the right lane as you approach Saginaw, Maine. 287 northbound, only the left lane is getting through as you move from Wilbarger up toward Barrie. In Burleson, you've got road work up 35 southbound from Allsbury down toward Wilshire Boulevard, just the left lane getting through. In Irving, 183 westbound, watch for your exit ramp at Grawweiler to be blocked. And Spur 482 southbound, your ramp to go westbound on 183 coned off. Overnight road work in Dallas on 35 southbound is just letting the left lane through as you travel between Mockingbird and 183. And then you've got some construction going on as you move through Mesquite, 80 eastbound between Galloway and Beltline. You're down to just one lane getting through. Right now across Dallas, Fort Worth, 67 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Now... Here's your latest weather forecast. Rain chance is going up for March 1st. Tomorrow, March coming in like a lion Thursday with some active weather here in Dallas. Thunderstorms likely Thursday, some one-inch rains, and the potential for severe weather. Right now, it looks like the highest likelihood will be Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. Greater risk of severe weather just northeast of the Metroplex. I'm meteorologist Scott Laurie Moore at the Weather Channel. It's all quiet for tonight. Uh, not really seeing hardly many clouds uh, across uh, the area on satellite tonight. Temperatures down into the mid-60s as we we'll say goodbye to February. But Wednesday, March 1st, we will kick up some thunderstorms in the forecast. Rain chances going up to about 50% by midday Wednesday, high 73, low 64. Even higher rain chances on Thursday and some one-inch downpours and the potential for some severe weather Thursday, especially afternoon and evening, high of 77 degrees, turning cooler Thursday night, low 40s. 
And then briefly cooler for Friday and Saturday with sunshine. High temperatures below average at 60 on Friday, 67 on Saturday.